All right, Nick, let's talk about the Los Angeles Chargers. Really, everyone's been talking about them. Everyone's been speculating. There's a lot of just what ifs, what could be's for the Chargers next head coach. Now we finally have a little bit of more concrete evidence about who potentially the Chargers are looking at for their next head coach. And of course, we're talking about Jim Harbaugh. Let's get into the article and we can talk about it on the other side. This is from over on Chargers Wire. It says, according to NFL media's Ian Rappaport, the Chargers are set to interview Jim Harbaugh next week for the team's head coaching vacancy. Rappaport added that Harbaugh has indicated to associates there's a real possibility that he could leave Michigan to become the Los Angeles head coach. All while Michigan is still making an effort to sign Harbaugh to a contract extension. This comes a week after Harbaugh has left the Wolverine, led the Wolverines to a national championship win over Washington. Nick, I think this is great news for the Chargers. Official interview. I mean, this is the first step in the process. Now we all know the interview is probably more of a formality. They are, you know, he's qualified. He is a good coach. Yeah. It all is coming down to the negotiations. And now it's going to be what does Michigan offer him versus what does Los Angeles offer him. And I think that Los Angeles is a little bit more enticing than people may think because there's a lot of baggage that comes with Michigan as well as far as sanctions, as far as, you know, just all of the expectations, the close eyes on Harbaugh. I think he's getting fed up with that. And you look at the Chargers, the Chargers, as we've said numerous times, a really solid team. Justin Herbert is solved the quarterback, uh, you know, equation in Los Angeles. That is one thing that a lot of coaches have trouble with is finding a quarterback. They have a great quarterback. This is a team that I think is really just one good head coach away from making a good playoff run. So I think there's a lot of great upside for the Chargers, and I'm curious how this goes down the stretch as far as the interviews and the negotiation. I want to know what your thoughts are, but Chargers fans, let us know in the comment section below. What are you thinking is going to happen with Jim Harbaugh? Does he stay at Michigan? Does he come to the Chargers? Let us know in the comment section below. But Nick, what are your thoughts on Harbaugh making his official interview to Michigan or to the Chargers? Excuse me. Yeah. So I think this is the most or the closest we've seen Harbaugh return to the NFL. Because if you go back to the last offseason, there were some rumors and it turns out there was maybe some conversation, some kind of putting feelers out and things like that kind of behind the scenes that were revealed later about Harbaugh potentially returning to the National Football League. This is the first time since Harbaugh left the NFL when he was with the San Francisco 49ers that we've actually heard about official in-person interviews. And to me, that's an indicator that the Chargers are about to pull this off. They are about to hire Harbaugh. I think it's, I'd give it like a 90 plus percent chance of happening. I really do. Cause we haven't seen Harbaugh get this close. So publicly to returning to the NFL since he left the NFL. So I think that's a great sign for the Chargers. I think you brought up a great point with the baggage around Michigan and just basically how the NCAA is being a ridiculous governing body with how they're handling that Michigan uh, program. I think Harbaugh wants to move on from that. But I think there's another thing side to this. I think people are forgetting why Harbaugh wants to return to the Chargers. And it's the rivalry he has with his brother. He talked about after beating uh, University of Washington to win a national title, he talked about, I can finally sit at the big kid's table. His dad won a championship, I believe D1 AA at the time. Obviously, John Harbaugh with the Baltimore Ravens has won a Super Bowl. Now that he's won a national title, he says, I can finally sit at the title table. But I guarantee you, he wants to beat his brother. He had a chance to do it, obviously, a number of years ago in the Harbaugh, the Super Bowl between the 49ers and the Ravens. The Ravens pulled it out. I think you look at how competitive Harbaugh is, Jim Harbaugh is, I think he wants another shot at it. And I think the Chargers are the perfect team to do that because they're they're basically kind of like the, the the negative of the Ravens, right? They've got a young quarterback, but unfortunately they haven't surrounded him with the pieces. The Ravens have their young quarterback. They've surrounded him with the pieces. Harbaugh looks at the Chargers as his best bet to beat his brother and at least compete with him. And I think that's what's driving, driving him here a little bit. I think he wants to return to the NFL. I think the Chargers are the best open coaching job by far among all the current vacancies and i also think here's some I, I think the most important driver here the chargers give him the best chance to compete with his brother john harbaugh the baltimore ravens i think at this point it's almost a, a done deal in my opinion that harbaugh uh, jim harbaugh ends up being the next coach of the los angeles chargers yeah Nick, and i think you bring up an interesting point and there's two things i want to add on to that one is you say you get to sit at the big kids table now and he does he won his national championship how do you get a leg up on the big kids table? Be the only one to win a Super Bowl and a national That's championship. 
So that would really, you know, bury everybody else in the dirt as far as the family rivalries go. The only one ever to do that. I would say Harbaugh is arguably one of, if not the best college slash NFL head coaches of all time. He's had a lot of great results. You think Jimmy Johnson's, you think the Pete Carroll's of the world, but Harbaugh is right up there neck and neck with them as far as his accolades go. And then the other thing that we're talking about is, and you brought it up, he wants to beat his brother. And who is a team that historically has been very good at beating Baltimore in the playoffs? And that is the Chargers. They've found the formula a couple of different times. It's a team that always gives them a lot of trouble. So, I mean, I don't know if that necessarily factors in as far as the team. I think he can do that with any team as far as Jim Harbaugh. But the Chargers have been a team that have the pieces, you know, to shadow Lamar Jackson, to shut him down. So giving him a leg up in the rivalry, I think the Chargers is the best option for him, like you said. And here's just one more. I saw this come across my computer right now. The Chargers are obviously looking for personnel directors to, to become their next GM. You know who their most recent target is that they're reportedly very interested in? Ravens director of personnel, Joe Horitz. Mm. Right? You can't make this up, right? It just it just feels like Jim Harbaugh wants to return to the NFL and compete with his brother. It looks like the Chargers are basically doing everything they can to facilitate that. I think it's a done deal. I think Jim Harbaugh is going to be the next head coach of the Chargers. And this Chargers team that for the be better part of the last decade and a half has been full of disappointment, losing close games and heartbreak. I think it's about to reverse 180 degrees. And if you're a Chargers fans, I think, you, I think at this point you're just waiting for the news to officially break. I think it's almost a done deal.